Hey everybody, welcome back to Sunday Tea Book, episode 28. Hey Josh, welcome back. Holy cow, long time no see buddy. I hope you had a oh. great holiday season and we're back into the grind of 2021. Hey Jacqueline, B BC or BC, uh, hello. Welcome to Sunday Tea Book, episode 28. Boo yeah. We're eight episodes till the end. Hey Reiner, welcome. Mm. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the show, Reiner. Good to see you. Eight episodes to go? Yeah, like a two months, right? Awesome. Like four weeks a month. Yes. So here we are. Let us know, as always, what you're brewing today. We are having some black tea kimen. And mm. this is a traditional kimen. On the YouTube tea. side, so um so I guess I'm gonna show on the YouTube side yeah. our little YouTube reel. There's okay. gonna be a little bit of music. Instagram, you should go to YouTube because that's how this thing rolls. <laughs> but I'll just I'll get on with that. There it is for you, Instagram. Hey JS, welcome to the show. Yes. So on the YouTube Maybe. side, I'm just showing the web page. This is a fantastic tea. Um, my uh, my go-to one of my go-to breakfast blacks that I just like to throw into a pot, which is exactly That's what we're, we're gonna do today. Today. And uh, show you some close-ups of the leaf that are all available on the website with some fancy transitions I did today. Again, uh, Instagram, you're missing it if you're not on the YouTube side. <laughs> Cindy, welcome back to the show. Simmerji, welcome. There's the liquor color. Right as I always like to say, the three things you gotta see on any tea website is. The dry leaf, preferably nice and tight and close up. So we usually do two shots, a distant and a close up. You want to see the liquor color and you want to see the brood leaf. So that's what we showed there. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Sunday Tea Book episode 28. What is Sunday Tea Book? Mm. Sunday Tea Book is where we take uh, a book, an article or a paper that is full of great information but is not readily available in English or if it has a translation, the translation is chunky. We bring that right up on the screen. We go through it with you guys. We get contributions from you guys. This has been such a wonderful experience for us, Absolutely. which is why I think we're at episode 28. We're about to finish a whole book, China Tea. Mm -hmm. um, so that is Sunday Tea Book in a nutshell. Uh, I love it. Uh, we've been, you want to talk about the book a bit? <laughs> I have been so quiet today. Yeah, yeah, I'm rock and roll. <laughs> I'm mellow and I'm overdressed. I'm doughy. We had a walk this morning mm -hmm. and you know after that I'm always a little bit doughy. So we continue on the book China Tea written by my mom Jenny Wu and it's a great tea for... Um, great book. Uh, yes. <laughs> this, a is, great this is book a great tea. For anybody who has been into tea for a while uh, or you are just uh, getting started with tea, this tea offers you some Chinese perspective mm. uh, about Chinese tea. So it's a great uh, riff. Uh, oh my gosh. Sorry about my English. No, no, don't worry um, about it. It's a fresh look at Chinese tea for mm. those of you. And uh, it's a great uh, opportunity to organize all the information and knowledge we, uh, we, we already have and yes. uh, kind of align us on the same tea terms and yep. names and dive at some point to dive a little bit deeper because mm -hmm. as we go through all those uh, uh, books we do more than just translate or interpret we also are um, adding a little bit of cultural background oh, yeah. a little bit like a language thing there or sometimes even uh, fill you in with what's happening in Chinese tea market which I found uh, uh, a lot of times uh, those are hard information to really get access to. Oh, very hard, very hard. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is all about. So what we're going to do, Instagram, we're going to say goodbye very soon and go dedicated on YouTube. Why? Because I'm going to pull the book right up on the screen and section by section, we are going to go through it together. I will read a section as it's translated. Then I'm going to go over like what I got from it mm -hmm. and anything that was missed or misunderstood because the tr sometimes the translation, the way it works is it's, it seems right to me, but then she says, actually, that's not what it says in Chinese. Really interesting. We're going to get into the wordings and stuff like that. We also have the finished translation is posted up on the website. The link is down below in the YouTube again. So pull that up. It's a great way to uh, some key pinion words are better left untranslated. Mm. Those are all in there. Plus, you can see the finished product as we as we rock and roll through this book. So Instagram, I'm going to grab onto you. I'm going to pull you over here and say bye-bye for now. Hope to see you on the YouTube side. Goodbye. 
I just look at you, I feel hot with your little scarf. Yeah, so guys, you might be thinking, wow, Phil is so fashion forward. And that's entirely true. <laughs> but it's also um, chilly in this room. So I decided to dress appropriately. Oh, I really don't like Instagram. <laughs> I didn't save my title, which I already put in once. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to no. try and be proactive. We can spread out a bit too now. We're on YouTube, which also has the correct aspect ratio. Aspect Yay, YouTube. Ratio. Yay. Boo, Instagram. Look at what everybody is drinking. Yeah, so let's have well. a look at that while I get rid of your phone. Oh, Rainer says, uh, I'm looking forward to this tea session. Currently, I'm dive deeper into black tea. I um, have to cool. say, I totally agree with you first. Um, I myself really look forward to this whole black tea thing because. Uh, uh, I also start to drink more black tea. Personally, I'm not a black tea person. I whenever if you give me, <laughs> if you give me a pile of teas, I always look for oolong or something else. Uh, so, thanks to this uh, section, I'm drinking more black tea, and uh, I do find myself like, how should I say, not to uh, like uh, fall in love right away, but I do see a little bit deeper side a little bit undiscovered side of a black tea and i really enjoy that as morning tea there we mm. go there we go yes. so we, where were you at R reiner fashion mm -hmm. yeah my uh, michelle Sheshtak. hey welcome back uh josh says haha thanks so much guys and what's what's a break huh i've just been studying 40 hours a day for my last uh finally done i'm going to be able to get a regular Oh, cool. Busy studying. Cool. Oh. Keep up the good work. I hope all the studying paid off or is paying off or will pay off depending on how that works out temporarily. Um, JS drinking a 2007 Jingjia Tang Bara Ra. I guess the Shempuar sounds like. Truthfully, not my favorite. Okay. Well, thanks for being honest. I like that. Oh. Um, trying to make some more room in the cabinet. Uh, drinking ah. through the hard stuff. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We should post we more been... recipes so people can get through their hard stuff with cooking. Yes. Sometimes we yes. do that when we I have saw, something that's one tough. One day I saw, I think it was a Canada, Tea Canada, Canada. Yeah, the Canada uh, the, Tea Association. Tea Association. Or the they Tea Association post, uh, of Canada. some uh, recipe with uh, uh, Lapsang Suzhong, uh, totally, uh, they powdered it and put that in cooking, do some barbecue stuff. I thought that was pretty mm, cool. Cool, yeah. Especially if it's those... Um, you know, punch in the face, smoky. Oh, which we're going to talk about today is really, yes. I think there are some information that uh, uh, commonly misunderstood and uh, something that could be interesting to your guy. Hey, hola, Igor. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the live. Cindy says, I'm also drinking your traditional keeman today. Yay! Oh, oh, that's so fun when we can sip together. Yes. It's it's the black tea that's helping me deal with my post-traumatic <laughs> tea bag disorder. So for those of you that didn't know what PTTD meant in Cindy's comment there, it stands for post-traumatic tea bag disorder, and it can be a real thing. Okay, and it does, and the Keeman traditional is a great helper with that. Mm. I think our top grade lapsum can be like uh, also helpful. Okay, all of our black teas are super helpful for that because they're all really good. Do you want to do a little? Good luck uh, with the test. Tea can? Tea I'm can. To brew yeah, it. yeah. I wonder, are you there. brewing in a teapot, like a big, we're trying to brew this in the morning way? <laughs> yes, we're doing this. I don't know this. how many grams. You can tell if I get the tea, I don't know how many grams. He mm. usually measures. I measure. So I, like, like I measure just, just for the show. Though. Probably four, four we really, inch, four or five. We're not measuring people. Mm. Uh, when we're making tea, it's very much the vessel I'm using, I put in the right amount. So how I measure for the show is I put the vessel, then I dump it on the scales because people might wonder how ah, much is that. I literally, because yes. really the right way to fill the vessel is by how, what the vessel needs, not how many grams. It's the same with says. my cooking. I, I if oh, you yeah. ask me to use measuring cup or those spoons, I suddenly don't know how much I should put. I have I use the flow, like a uh, how flow and lens when I pour out yeah. of a bottle. Yeah, you're using a, your same experience and yeah. a bunch of stuff. I gotta say, I would if you're shocked by that. I was really freaked out by that at first too. And, um, but as I actually brewing tea and working in the kitchen with her, helped me get better at add the appropriate amount, which is, if you're not sure, a little bit, because you can't take <laughs> stuff out, and then taste, adjust, taste, adjust, just like we said in our intuitive brewing, right? Um, steep, taste, adjust, 
I watched that the other day. Yeah, I watched that, but I forgot. It. Anyway, <laughs> you know, you get the idea, guys. You get the idea. Uh, and Simmerji is having some donjin today. Oh, nice. Cindy, I have to say you both look cute in your plaid. Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah, we matched. So, the, yeah, like I said, the room's chilly, so we're both bundled up a little bit. Um, but it's not as chilly. I don't know if anybody's following the news in China. Super cold flash over in China. It's like yes, minus I wanna, 20. I'm shocked. I never remember my hometown have like minus 8 and minus 10. That's unimaginable. Mm. It's not just the temperature plus the humidity of the environment. It's inside and outside of the same temperature mm. today Co when we were walking i was saying can you imagine just minus 10 and we have to sit in front of the computer and work oh, yeah. and all those I yeah think, walking it was fine right because yeah, we're bundled yeah. up and we're moving around but when you're indoors trying to work <gasps> and i want to explain so they don't know they're probably wondering how can it be the same temperature indoors oh. so because it's pretty warm there mm. their typical heating method is heat pump which i think most of you probably heat know pump. Yeah, that you guys call it AC, but that's a heat pump. When you use AC in reverse, it's just called a heat pump. Heat pumps fail at about minus five. They just don't work. And that's the problem. They, they barely raise the temperature. They aren't, they, yeah, yeah, they aren't working because it's too cold. Mm. So And we don't have the whole system, water system. Mm. and uh, Yeah, they don't have a big central furnace and all that stuff because generally they don't need it. Yeah, and uh, my friend's house, my mom's house, uh, my dad's house all had a water issue because it's so cold. So they have days. Now every All the Canadians know what you're talking about. Frozen pipe. Yes. We've all and no it. water whole day. Mm. And once they saw a little bit during the day, they just dribble, dribble out a little bit. So everybody almost uh, trying to collect... Uh, uh, you know buckets all the buckets all the bowls mm, in the house is mm. collecting water in case they got freeze again so yeah the trick is leave it on if you don't want it to freeze but it freeze all the way because you mm. don't want the water just running because it it's expensive in the cold the full run we no, drip. our trip it was a drip but mm. it dripped become a pop Oh, a pop, an yeah, icicle. Icicle, icicle. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, so they couldn't even leave it dripping. It still froze up. Yeah. So what's going on? So Jay, uh, recipes. So people use Lapsang for making dark brownies. Fernanda uses that. Mm -hmm. And uh, JS use it as a cooking spice. So much fun. It goes real nice with grilled salmon. Oh, I bet you that's really Ooh. good. Really good. And uh, Josh says recipes are a fantastic way to use some harder tea. Quote unquote harder. Nicely said. I have some and bath. I use those teas too bad. No, too good to throw out. I have several grades of tea: drinking, cooking. Uh, you know, use like a bath or something like a still can be used um, mm -hmm. my body and too good compost. for too good for compost. Yes, too good for compost. Then compost, then throw out. Hmm. Yeah, the, if that's there's the, a too much chemical stuff, the flavoring and stuff, I yeah. And it doesn't taste good. I don't even come. And JS says to Fernanda, hey, would you send me a recipe on Discord? I'd love mm. to try that. So let's just flip over there. So yeah, we've got the link down below. If you're new to the channel and you don't know what we're talking about vis-a-vis -vis the Discord, link's down below. You can jump on there. Uh, and, and I used to season it. And Josh says, I used to season the rice mm. overnight for my homemade zongzi. Mm, totally delicious. I love zongzi. We don't have a zongzi recipe. Those are pretty tricky, actually. We're not going to do I a zongzi recipe. I don't know how recipe. to do that. Do not watch and wait for a zongzi recipe from us, okay? <laughs> Those are, yeah, we don't know. Those are, we had homemade ones in, in uh, Pinghu. Maybe mm. check out the video. Um, I'll put the link down below. But when we, I think we showed that little clip of us eating zongzi in that video. Eating, yes. Homemade one. Super yummy. We didn't, weren't there when they were made. We just eat. Really fun. That's I it. think I showed a clip of that in one of the video I sh uh about my hometown's uh, grocery, like a um, uh, grocery market, and there people are making the zones. Mm, mm. Nice. All right, we're just about done with the comments. We got uh, some comments about smoky zones, and uh, Michelle Shashtak is drinking Huangshan Mao Feng. Um, Fernanda still in Pai Mudan, April 2020, since yesterday. Whoa, keep Ooh. it rolling, keep it rolling. Cindy says, I love recipe ideas, Igor. Hi, fair. Sounds yummy. And hi, you are truly yummy. I do. Oh, Fernanda. Fur. Fernanda. Got oh. it. I wasn't sure what F E R was. Now I got it. I do use egg yolks, so not vegan. Oops. <laughs> it's okay. We're okay with that. All right, guys. Guess what time it is? Everybody's probably been waiting for this. I splashed a little teaser on the Discord, but it is indeed tea trivia. 
time. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love this. The cheesiest couple in it with on T Live YouTube. I feel like that's yeah, just with so plaid fun. shirts. With plaid shirts, yeah. We should get oh, yeah. axes and stuff. No, but I have the plaid scarf though. Oh, okay. That's why Cindy comment. Barely fit in it. Here we go, guys. So it's tea trivia time. Let's dive right in with question number one. I try. I made a little talk on the break. <laughs> so tea trivia. The most exported tea type is A, green tea, B, black tea, C, iced tea, or D, Mr. Tea. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys like that answer. Everybody go for D. What you talking about, fool? You don't know the A-team? No, right? no. Okay. Hopefully you guys know what the A-team is or I look like a big... Oh my gosh, Josh has been away so long he forgot about tea trivia. <gasps> okay, so we're getting answers rolling in. It looks like a resounding B. Everybody's guessing B. I didn't get the goat scream in time. Don't get excited. Oh, okay, okay. So... <laughs> no, don't tell them. I'm okay. going to surprise them next week. Don't tell them. <laughs> now you have to come back next week. JS guesses A just to be different. Good one. It's always good to not follow the crowd, but in this case, it would make you wrong. B is the right answer. B is the right answer for which is the most exported tea type. We're going to talk about that today, but just because I didn't do it earlier, this is all about having fun, taking guesses, shooting the breeze. It's just a good time. It's not a trying to make you guys uh, feel bad about the wrong answer or really good about the good answer. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. We're just goofing around. I think you guys know that. I just like to always say it. All right, guys, the opinion for Keeman is A, Keeman, B, <laughs> Keeman, C, Keeman, or D, Keeman. <laughs> I was oh, waiting for that one. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good Right? One. Do you like those ones? She doesn't see them till today, so it's a big surprise for her too. Oh, it's really cute. Oh, while you think about Ooh, this. JS agonizes over his mis mis his no. missed answer. No. <laughs> Don't worry, JS. You'll be able to pull it back in. And the next four more questions. This is question number two. We're going to have a total of four, but I'm not supposed to say the number. I forgot. I'm going to not say the number. This is a question. Cindy guesses D. The way you Great say guess. B, I was like, oh, I didn't know. I thought it was semen. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I didn't realize. No, that. that's okay. That's a missed opportunity on my part. I should have totally pronounced it like that. You are the winner. You get a high five. <laughs> I didn't even ring. I just, uh, oh, I forgot you see This is great. Me. This is great. So Cindy comes in with a DJS. Guess that would make sense since we are talking about black teas today. Haha. <laughs> Igor guesses C. Reiner goes with B. Um, Simmerji goes with D. Uh, I always want to say Plako. But uh, yeah, yeah, me too, me Josh too. Uh, Perot goes with Keeman. He spells it right out. Fernanda goes with A. Uh, Josh goes, no, wait, oh my God. And take a guess. Actually, I've, I've this is great. This was my aim, was to completely confuse everybody. And it seems like I did a great job. Do we get a guess for every? I think I should no. get a point. Yes, every letter huh? has been guessed. A, B, C, and D are all on the board. That gets me a point, okay? For me, that means I did my job. The correct answer, guys, is C, <laughs> Keeman. Okay, I threw that apostrophe in to trick some people. I got a few of you. B, if, you, if you're familiar with Pinion, it would be pretty close, but not quite. It'd be more like Seaman, not Keeman. Uh, and a Q I M U N. I think M U N may not even be pinion. I'm not sure about no, that it's though. Not so M U N is not pinion. So it is C Cimen. Uh, okay. Mm. So there you go. A little pinion lesson. You don't need to learn pinion to enjoy uh, Chinese tea, but it doesn't hurt sometimes. So C T C black tea. Next question. C T C black tea has been being produced in China for about a 400 years. B 100 years. C it's not actually produced in China. Or D, 40 years. All right, here we go. So CTC, so crush, tear, curl, um, often called cut, tear, curl, but I think technically is crush, tear, curl. Black tea has been being produced in China for about A, 400 years, B, 100 years, C, it's not actually, or D, 40 years. Just C so good because I think the Russian as represents coffee. <sighs> This is what happens when I study school instead of tea. Yeah, shame, shame. No, 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 study school. Pays better. Yeah. All right. Um, coffee, 
so Cindy comes in with a C on the CTC black tea being produced in China for how long question Fernanda follows suit Fernanda Reiner Igor and Josh asks if CTC yes it is the crushed hair curl cut up tea bag stuff um, I don't think there's a rule that it has to go in a tea bag you can brew it otherwise you can cut open the tea bag <laughs> I, th what? I think you can buy it quote unquote loose too and just oh, yeah. put the shreds in your tea ball or just throw them in the pot. Right. So Simmerjeet comes in with his C. Cindy says, I just learned it was crushed hair curl, not cut hair curl from last week's trivia. Yes, yay. I don't think, I think it's one of those things that's pretty flexible too. Like, you know, it's tea bag tea. Nobody's freaking out about whether you, you got the acronym <laughs> for CTC right, right? I'm just right. hoping it doesn't rip your face off. All right, so Bob. Uh, Josh says, oh, either 40 years because of the machinery or not at all and only India, Sri Lanka, lol. Okay, final answer. We're going mm. with no more bets. Okay, Josh, I'm going to give you two seconds to squeak it in. It's probably floating to me now over the interweb, so I'm going to reveal the right answer is D, only 40 years. So you are on the right vibe, Josh. Good guessing, good guessing, good logicking your way through that. That's not guessing. That's logicking your way through and uh, yeah, but it is produced there. It is an export tea. We're gonna talk about it. And the next question is, what flower is this? Is it A, a strawberry? B, a little tea flower? C, a raspberry? Or D, an eggplant flower? <laughs> Do you like that? Eggplant flower, I like that. Mm. I couldn't I remember what one looked like, so I don't even know if that's viable. I thought eggplant. it would oh. stick with the berries. Like no, no, I always like to have a, I don't know if you notice, I always like to have an answer that's a bit off the wall, but I don't even know if uh, eggplant is off the wall here. So, um, we grow an eggplant, so you saw that? I know, I know, that's why I'm even more oh. embarrassed, I forget. I think they it was could a, have a wider variety. A light purple flower, right? Yeah, purple, mm, quite we pretty. grow the purple one. Mm -hmm. there, oh, I guess there are white eggplants. Yeah. Okay, Josh says, damn. <laughs> and Fernanda says, ah, lots of, uh, sounds on the channel right now. Cindy goes with B, T. Josh goes with, I thought D. Uh, I think for, oh, I think for the last one, he thought it was 40. Yes, yeah, you had the two there close. Took, shot the guest out. Remember it was coming mm. over the internet when I revealed. Yeah. So there we go. So we've got um, Cindy coming in with a T, uh, Fernanda coming in with a B, T Flower, Igor B, JSB, uh, Reiner with a B, Simmerji B. Josh says B, I think, definitely has the camellia shape, but a lot of flowers have camellia shape, like even Quincy fruit tea in my backyard because they're the same family. There we go. But you're all correct. It is B. It is a tea flower. And folks, that wraps up today's installment of our um, whatever this is called. No, just kidding. Our Sunday tea book, tea trivia fun to warm up to our section. I learned my lesson. Go for the answer with the word T You're in it. getting that Oh, there, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to have a trick next week just based on that. There we go. All right, guys. So I think I'm going to dive over to the book and we'll get right going here. Mm -hmm. This tea is fantastic. We should talk about it a little bit. We just mm. brew and brew. Let's come and back just, uh, to the brew can. A so certain look at that one liquor. is so uh, familiar and just a mm. easy to drink. Easy drinker, comforting and warm. You said they got to move. move. Oh. Yeah. See, I jiggled it until it focused. It doesn't... Yeah, it's tough to see through that yeah. pebbly glass. But isn't Maybe that a lovely teapot? Oh, oh bubbly glass. Teapot style. Yeah, we're, yeah there we go. Now we can see a better see representation of the liquor color. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to head over to the tea book. Oh, there we go. So, guys, as mentioned earlier, we are... Watch this, watch this. You guys won't see anything, but... You guys won't see anything, but I did something fancy with the mouse to help with <laughs> my transition. I have been urging him to customize the mouse settings. So I did it. Finally, he did it. So here we are going through China tea, which you guys can see up on your screen here. Um, we have made our way all the way through part one, covering all kinds of cool stuff. Part two, uh, the three steps of tea appreciation, and uh, then getting into the tea types. We've covered green tea, dark tea, oolong tea. And now we're down here in this section right here, talking about these particular black teas today, Kimen, CTC, and Zhengshan Xiaodrong. 
So mm -hmm. I gotta go through all the old stuff here a little bit. That's what we've covered already. And here we are with Kim and Black Tea. So now for the daily reading of the psalm. Kim and Black Tea is able to be drunk either alone or mixed with milk or sugar. Keeman Black Tea is favored by the royal nobles in the UK who praised Keeman as the best one among all the fragrant tea. The best one, I oh, sorry about that. I had a little strolling accident. I set this on purpose, maybe I should put this on. Keeman Black Tea is produced in Keeman Town, Anhui. It is famous for its high fragrance because of its special and durable aroma. It is known as the fragrance of granulated sugar or apples by tea experts all over the world. It contains the aroma of orchid, elegant and durable and unique. So it is called Keeman fragrance by the international market. The English love Keeman black very much and all over the country are desired to taste it. It is also the most popular drink in the royal nobles while celebrate the queen's birthday with Keeman black tea. Thus it was praised as the best among the fragrant tea. Keeman black tea is called top grade tea in the international market, especially in London market where tea is listed as the hero of tea. When the fresh tea was given to the market, everyone is rushing to buy. They think that in China, where they find the tea with the fragrance of spring. Voila. Mm. Mm, I think my customizations didn't work. I seem to be all over the place with the scrolling. I'm going to work <laughs> on it, guys. I'm going to work on it. Um, I think uh, just before we get started, please uh, click on the uh, full translation mm -hmm. link uh, in the description uh, box Down below, below. yeah. And uh, because today there is some uh, Chinese and English, that's why in this section we just read, there is a little things that is uh, as the best one among all the fragrant tea mm. even used as a title it was uh, uh, a, a special like a turn is thing in right. chinese only three characters and, yeah uh, which we didn't get really. yes and there's some quote that i try to mm -hmm. keep or uh like preserve in the uh final translation yeah idea. yeah so again links down below you can pull that up and put it off to the side or kind of you know however you like to set that up so paragraph one I got a little check mark beside that, mm -hmm. um, except the best among all fragrant tea. And I found that weird. Like, uh, I think that's what you're talking about. Because mm. my note was, what, what do they mean? Like, all tea is pretty fragrant. Why is it like, like, a, yes. like a, it struck me as a weird way to phrase that. Yeah, first, it's a, a special title of it called Chun Fang Zui. And uh, what happened here is uh, she kind of translated word by word, <laughs> like in the meaning. But fun could mean aroma, fragrant. On the other hand, it also can mean flower, but also can be metaphoric to say a bunch of stuff. This tea stands out. So that's oh. what it means, really stands out. It's oh, it's an outstanding tea would be sort yes, of a yes. more accurate way to look at that. Yes, but oh. uh, in quote uh, if you see the full like uh, finish the translation i keep that that's the three word that uh, is kind of a unique title to kim and black tea cool okay mm -hmm. so that that did pop out at me too i have it right in my notes that it was you know what do you mean for a uh, oolong's pretty fragrant all bunch of teas are fragrant mm -hmm. good one okay cool mm -hmm. and then in the next section the best among all the fragrant tea now mm -hmm. we know it's fragrant mm -hmm. is the best among the Qing Feng Zun. Qing Feng Zui. Mm. Right, what she said. Really good. Um, it, so again, what's fragrant, but known as, so I have down here, right, it's, oh yeah, this was, I found this interesting, known as the fragrance, known as the fragrance of uh, granulated sugar it, or apples. Mm. This was struck me as a it's bit not weird known too. As, uh, what yeah, is known as? Yeah, because. Famous for? Famous for, right. okay, for its that uh, those kind of aromas yeah and flavor so those profile. are in quotes too it's like a sugar aroma granulated sugar in uh, chinese we call it sha tang xiang. it's a unique smell ah which means it's a sweet but uh, you know when we talk tang, about sweet it's tang. really broad yeah sha yeah. tang which means uh, the the cooking the granulated sugar ah. but there are so many different fruits there are uh, i mean sweet sorry 
you know, you have fruity sure. sweet. Mm -hmm. You could have that sugar sweet. What's the sugar sweet, sweet by smell? Mm -hmm. It's actually a very, if you, you can do that at home, in the kitchen, have a, of course, not a little jar, try to have a big bag. So you would have a little bit of that smell of sugar. They have smell. It's mm -hmm. very light, delicate, mm -hmm, little mm -hmm. sweet. And um, just the raw sugar, just yes, smell that straight yes, up. Yes, smell that. That mm -hmm. would be. And uh, apples, uh, apple aroma, those are in quotes more of a, you know, like a defined human element. Right. Because gotcha. later on, it also mentioned that. Uh, the kimen fragrance here, it kind of, uh, right here, yeah, use the right capital here, to say, that's a term, a T term, qimen xiang, is uh. to say the come. it's hard to describe, right? When we try to describe mm. the aroma, the taste, it's just everybody's interpretation of this thing. Right. This qimen, for its uniqueness, we call that qimen xiang, qimen fragrance, qimen aroma, or something. Right. It's Right, and that's what they're trying to say here. It's so unique. It achieved this level of having its own description. Mm. Xiang. Okay, great, great. And then I noticed down here, so this stuff, the part about the royal family, although it was a little bit chunky, it wasn't mm -hmm. too hard to understand, right? It mm -hmm. made its way over there mm -hmm. and people just loved it mm -hmm. and even have it on the birthday. Mm -hmm. Yay, queen. <laughs> um, let me just highlight queen. Happy birthday to her. All right, and... Um, but then in the final paragraph there, I noticed they use the word chi. I'm going to pronounce it just like they did in is Mulan it? too. When fresh chi was taken, it reminded me of that. It's like, chi-men. It's just, it's just a, a short version of I don't know okay. why. Right, I don't okay. even know why. And the hero of tea, I found that to be a weird um, a weird way to describe it. Like listed, It's listed. It says on the London market, it's listed. Like I picture the menu at the London market of all the teas I can buy, I guess wholesale. And then at the top is with a little crown yeah. and a hero of tea semen. Sort of funny, right? Yeah, it wasn't quite like that. It's a, it's a, again a quote that got translated directly uh -huh. to say it's just a basically means that you know, kimen is considered a fine, fine gray tea, a really right. good kind right. of a tea. And uh, there's a quote, and uh, the last bit, uh, you know, it didn't doesn't list it as. Like, uh, you know, the hero of tea is just mean, it's really good tea. Does mm. that make sense? It's yeah. not like no, a I think label that's, like that. I right. think that's, um, that's kind of how we would have interpreted. That's kind of what I thought. Right. I just wanted to call it out because it did strike as a, I, I thought maybe that's a phrase, which it turned out to be a phrase. Right. But um, it basically means it's, a, it's an upstanding tea. Mm. And the last sentence, it's really, it probably feels bizarre to you. Yeah, they think it's that in China. It's a quote as well. It's from a poet. It's from a poet. I uh, think I even, I... Uh, my poem detector didn't go off this time. Oh, right. I usually try to detect the poetry. You know why? Because it's not from Chinese poet. It's a from... Mm. Uh, okay, it's in the full description. I looked up his name. I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyway, it's there. I put in bracket of the poem. In the name. full translation? Yeah, because right. it's a Middle East poem or oh, wait, that's or right. East Is that the European? song you were singing? No. Oh, different one. Sorry. We uh, sing here. <laughs> uh, but it's from a <clears throat> sorry English related kind of language, not the Got Eastern it. language. Right. That's why it's relatively uh, understandable, I would say. Right. In terms of the translation. Right. And didn't trick the poet. The poet, yeah, my poetry radar goes mm -hmm. off when it's a translated Chinese poem because they're usually really clunky Weird. series of words. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Which are beautiful in Chinese but really clunky in English. Mm. All right, so I think what I'll do because the uh, next sections are small, I'm mm -hmm. just going to blast through the last sections and then we'll come back for comments. Yeah. Appreciation always before drinking. Features of appearance tight and slim. Tips can be seen moist color enjoy while tasting durable tea fragrance like the aroma of fruit and orchid such kind of aroma is called semen fragrance by the international tea market the soup is red and clear the bottom of the leaf is bright and red it tastes mellow and durable aftertaste mm -hmm. so pretty straight up um we just a couple of things if you haven't been with us in a while uh, moist 
uh, we've already kind of covered it. Almost all of them, or many of the teas have had this moist color, and of course moist isn't a color, but it's kind of indicating lustrous, I think we said in previous episodes. Mm -hmm. So that's just to clear that up. So once we figure that out, we can apply it. And then... Um, Tips? It says the tips can be seen. It actually just means the fuzz. You can see a little tea oh, fuzz. Oh, I thought it meant straight up buds. A little bit. No, not ah, straight up buds. Okay, this is not buds, mm. which is what I would interpret it. And in eat. Whoa, that's a little bit uh, messy. I'm going to leave it. It's artistic. <laughs> All right, I missed that. I thought it just meant you can see some buds, but mm. nope. And then uh, under enjoy while tasting, again, another thing that we've covered before is this bottom of leaf. We've seen this several times describing what the tea should look like. And that just means the brood leaf. Um, so those ones we've decoded already. Mm -hmm. um, so the brood leaf is bright and red. Mm -hmm. And uh, I concur with the uh, liquor color assessment. Let's head over to the brew can. Ding, 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 ding. Look at this gorgeous bright liquor. Jiggle, jiggle back and forth. Mm -hmm. Oh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Okay, so the comment says, thanks, always fun. Oh, for the tea trivia. You guys are so welcome for the tea trivia. It's always fun for me to uh, to get it ready and um, find those songs and this time find some pictures. I wasn't sure what to do for pictures, so that was my, my uh, picture idea. And... Um, Josh is really curious. What does a good cumin taste like? Just like mm. this. Um, I've had a few that purported to be good, but I didn't really like them. They would have been fine as a milk tea, but yeah. So yeah. this one can handle it. I've never put, never had milk in this one. This is Let's a top grade it. traditional cumin. Mm. When I first That's had how she says, it. don't ever put milk in it. No, no, no. Put a milk in it. So never, that's not why I, I know, said it. Teasing. No, there is a difference, and uh, I think our key, we have two cumin. One is this one. I didn't even put the top grade there. I feel like people would be confused with the price point. I think this is a relatively really accessible daily oh, yeah. tea Very with the so. price point, and because um, people uh, oftentimes I found if we like we talk about top grade and stuff and people think it should be super expensive mm -hmm. or full of buds or stuff like that right this is what old style cumin looks like mm -hmm. and we have another tea which is cumin i just label that as cumin which is mm -hmm. the more you will see more tea buds more uh, fuzz as well right and the price is higher uh, but those are new style teas. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of the black tea. Kind of like an evolution of Kino, right? Yeah, it's getting involved be, uh, Following because the trend, the trend yeah. of using a lot of the buds and stuff. So, it, as a traditional one, if you look at the leaf on our website, you feel like they're black, they're little, and uh, uh, there's a fuzz there, not much in terms of just tips there. That's mm -hmm. how they mm -hmm. used to be. Is how uh, if you talk about authentic cumin, right. old style cumin, traditional cumin, yeah. that's what it tastes like. It uh, looks like, and, and when like. you taste it, like it's not mind blowing. That's just honest because uh, we are. Don't agree. <laughs> I no, I know what you mean. It's You're very right. Very smooth, especially right. if it's you have not been mind blowing. It's that's drinking, a fair assessment. especially oolong like. Uh, Mm. I remember because we do a lot of tastes and uh, personally in our private time I brew up a lot of oolong but sometimes if we do a lot of oolong and switch to a green tea tasting for website or stuff sometimes you could be or black tea like this kind of black tea you could be underwhelmed because mm. you're like where's that booming where's that everything right but I'll tell you what this mm. tea is good for if you don't mind me jumping in oh yeah it's what you don't taste, okay? When you sip this tea, you've got those fragrances they talked about already, those, the sweetness, the sugary aroma, the, it's just delightful. And when you, like, like she said, smooth, you may the not be overwhelmed by, oh, the, what an amazing tea, but you're not gonna have a coated mouth. Mm -hmm. You're not going to have an unpleasant bitterness or mm -hmm. any astringency whatsoever. Mm -hmm. This is a top grade Keeman. It's yes. just delightful to sip. And it's not empty. For mm. us, like I know, like uh, you mm. know, when we this enjoy tea as really tea important. lovers, you, 
I often say, don't care about anything. You like mm-hmm. it, you don't care anything. But as a professionals, to really taste the tea, we care about it. is that good or bad. It's mm-hmm. not just my personal preference. That's right. Right. So I have to put that aside and talk about this tea. And if I smell that, there's a way like the other chemo would be more fruity, mm-hmm. more like a sweet. If you smell the dried leaf. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This one seems doesn't have it, but when I drink it, it's smooth. I use boiling water as usual. No There's issue. There's no issue. It's brewing here the whole time. Yeah, anyway, show them. And you can see here. the liquor is pretty dark too. Yeah, but, uh, it looks dark. There's no issue with the stringency or bitterness. Yes. It's clean in the you mouth. You can drink by itself. You can also put in milk. It works uh, well together. And uh, it's not, there's some, some tea that, especially people who knew to tea were stuck, got drawn towards big aromas uh, were just the strong flavors of a clear this is the uh, say uh, oh, s- raspberry flavor I don't know mm-hmm. <laughs> whatever flavor right, right. it's a flavor thing but those can be really off like a, in the extreme is sanded tea which is nothing wrong with that just to say those have very clear very booming flavors and stuff but drink it it's empty mm-hmm. it doesn't have support it this is the not the very opposite, but it's almost different than that. While you taste it, you have the there's something there. It's uh, well yes. integrated, yeah, and it's not too. so as a just different flavor uh, profile, but it's not empty. It's uh, well supported, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. a mouthfeel in terms of the smoothness, in terms of the lingering power. It's not like a, I know I ate a apple, so you always apple flavor but you yeah. know there's something That's that right. make me really comfy and really feel really yeah. nice yeah it's got substance mm. if you think about the difference between tea and flavored water if you take some crystals and put them in a water and stir it and drink mm. the that juice it's going to taste like flavored water mm. if you taste tea it never t- the good tea the, like this kind of tea it's not going to taste like flavored water it's going to have a different abrupt a little brothiness, that integration of the tea and the water, it transforms the water, it softens it, it makes the whole experience different. Mm -hmm. Just like you have chicken powder in water and make a broth and have real bone broth, Mm -hmm. you're gonna feel that difference. So those are kind of three metaphors I use, the powdered water, the chicken broth, and tea, this tea has that. Mm. Anyway, so there, I hope that helped. Let's see if it helped. Cindy says, not to be influenced by what we are learning today, looking back at my notes from previous tastings, I said it tastes like black currant and cocoa, mm. like hot chocolate without the calories. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it I does know the have cocoa that. thing you yeah. were saying. Yeah. And the currant, I really get a bit of I don't too. eat enough of black currant to mm. really know what it tastes like, but when you say co- oh, cocoa, I definitely agree. So Reiner asks, what is your suggestion for leaf to water ratio? Mm-hmm. Is it a tea which is good to drink in a gong fu style, a mm-hmm. lot of leaves to water, or more western style? Seems like you have a big teapot there. Mm, good question and yeah this is a pretty sizey teapot mm. I think uh, that can be uh, deconstructed into several layers uh, why I say that is in general the leaf to water ratio is we suggest 1 to 50 mm-hmm. 3 grams of uh, tea leaves 150 grams of uh, water in general for but teapot for teapot, mm-hmm. you can always play around with it, and of course, the brewing time all matters. And second question is an interesting one: is you are talking about a gong fu style vis-a-vis Western style, and the gong fu style you specifically point out is a lot of leave to water. So just wanna not saying clarify, just to make sure. Uh, that you understand uh, what we talk about. So in terms of a Gong Fu style, it's not how we talk about it, at least in this channel. In Gen Ti, when we talk about Gong Fu style, it's not defined by leaf to water ratio. It's by do you do repeated uh, brewing. Mm. So in terms of that, we also do Gong Fu style, but leaf to water ratio is not as high as Wulong. Mm which you could see uh, 8 to 10 grams in a gaiwan but i never even in uh gaiwan i never use the black tea 8 to gram uh, 8 to 8 10 grams i right. use a 3 gram 4 gram depends if i'm drinking by myself or drinking with three or four people and of course the gaiwan size uh so and 
On the other hand, I also enjoy brewing this tea in a teapot, mm. which um, again, one to 50 is a good ratio to start with. And you notice I, uh, I would halfway, if I feel like it's getting- um, Right. Too strong. Strong, yeah, too concentrated. I would still put more halfway refill more. Mm -hmm. So that kind of a me uh, method is uh, slightly different than I brew, I drink it up, then I brew again. Right, mm. right. Is that clear? I think that was really clear. Yes. And that's if you watch some of our how to brew videos, you'll see that that's kind of uh, some of the tricks that we use and those are sort of intuitive brewing skills, right? You taste it, you're like, mm. and this one didn't get bitter or astringent, but you taste that boldness. It's kind of getting right. over the top. You're like, hey, this could handle a bit of water. Mm. So, um, drinking so hopefully that helped Reiner. And thanks, that was a great question. Mm. Cindy says, drinking keeman today, I still think there is a nice, some nice cocoa notes. Yeah, we agree. We agree. Mm. Josh said, okay, interesting. I had tons of bitterness and astringency, even at weak levels of brew. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. First, the thing about the tea. Second, on the other note, we notice that water has a lot of. Uh, if you are assuming you are oh, brewing yeah. this uh, kimen traditional, like our kimen traditional, uh, if you notice that, uh, I would wonder about water. Because mm. the other day when we were in uh, Niagara <laughs> Hotel Water, we realized the Baya Chilan we brewed. I made a face. Yes, was so awful. My favorite, okay, croissant in a cup, if you've heard me talk about it, I just love that tea, mm. so good. That water make the tea first, our regular brewing time doesn't work, the mm. flavor doesn't come just out. Just muted. Yeah, he has to do like, longer, much longer steep mm -hmm, mm -hmm. than our suggestions and our, the video we made. And I'm and experienced with that tea. I know that tea. Yes. Uh, so it was long and then... And the taste is off. It's, yeah. it's coated and stuff. So Because it had to infuse so long and then it got the strength, but it didn't recapture its normal, yeah. lovely And the self. water itself comes with that kind of astringent stuff mm. if you, when we take a mini sip of the, water, the raw water. Right, mm. yeah. So that could be the playing in as well. Um, I'm tasting side by side in a ceramic cup and a silver line cup. The silver does bring out the higher notes. Mm. That is a cool experiment, Cindy. Uh, yeah. Two thumbs up for you for doing that. It's really neat to try different vessels, especially different vessel material. Um, and then silver, like silver and clay and stuff that really do have a, they're playing in, huh? And silver also, with if you were doing with boiling water, a high temperature and silver seem to release something. Mm. Good. I mean, good. Yeah. Like, good for health and stuff? Yeah, oh. yeah. Old times, uh, the the <laughs> very very old times. You use a uh, uh, silver chopsticks uh, if there is a poison or stuff. But uh, oh, in a lot of my yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. In a lot of minorities, even Han people, we use a uh, uh, silver to boil water. In the boils uh, area, they release something. Yeah, good for silver is a known know. antibacterial. Yes, too. that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Very cool. Um, it, so higher notes, yeah, so probably those um, fruity, that's really cool. Thank you, that's super helpful. You're welcome, Josh. Liner, thank you for explaining what Kung Fu means, really helpful. Mm -hmm. Josh says, yeah, I think probably it was t the tea quality. I had never had a keeman before, mm -hmm. and I definitely used all of my skills and tried tons of different parameters, and water is definitely good. Ah, mm. there you go, it probably boils down, no pun intended, to quality then. Uh, just because they said it was good doesn't mean they were right, huh? So also may not, yeah, we, that's what we were saying. Mm. Always use your your uh, your tongue and your whole mouth and your senses to determine mm. that. And well, lower water temperature. Yeah, you can always, uh, which, do you remember the video? We have a video where you show your cheater tea bag, like how she brews a tea bag I'm is gonna brilliant. talk about that in we CDC, really, we okay? Are really, we may have super- There's some unpopular CDC opinion coming up, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here we go, let's head to it. Yeah. All right. Oh, I was going to do the sound effect, but I have to remember it only works from one screen now. You guys are getting to know all my production tricks. All right, guys. CTC Black Shredded Tea, all of your favorite topics. Black Shredded Tea is a staple product on the international tea market, currently accounting about 80% for the total world tea exports. Remember question one. Mm -hmm. In India has a most production and export of Black Shredded Tea. Black shredded tea has been produced over a hundred years, which has been developed in China. It is a matter for nearly 30 years. Fragrance of spring. Black shredded tea is the rolling of tea leaves. 
the leaves chopped by machine to form debris particles. Due to its small appearance, it is called black shredded tea. CTC black shredded tea is short for Da Dugang black shredded tea. CTC black shredded tea is produced in Yunnan, Sichuanbana, Dadudang, Dadugang tea factory. It's suitable to be made into tea bag and it is, it is very suitable for brewing with milk, sugar, and lemon and mixing thoroughly into the milk tea or lemon tea. CTC black shredded tea is the tea that chopped by all fermented tea. Tea extract faster than the total, so generally it should not be brewed repeated. Okay, I'm going to just stop there and we'll go over this as sort of the meteor section, so I like to hit these ones. Um, let me find my notes. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. All right, so paragraph one. Right. The ending was super confusing for me. Uh -huh. Yeah. Black shredded tea has been produced over a hundred years. Okay, that's not confusing. Uh -huh. Which has been developed in China. I didn't know black shredded tea was invented in China, and I think it's wrong. No, that's not. It is a matter for nearly 30 years. It huh? This is a pure huh. So I think we kind of, from the question earlier in trivia, you can figure out what right. this all means. First, I just want to say this uh, this book has been uh, was published like uh, 10, 12 years ago. So yeah. if there's update in is India the number one export country or not? Like if you guys have more uh, first hand or more latest information, feel free to you know the, yeah let us know let us know. And um, second is it doesn't mean CTC is uh, invented or developed or anything in China, just say China, China making CDC black tea is in the recent 30 right. years, right. which till now is This 40 kind years. of link was, was not like uh, This really is the Chinese wording. Right, right. 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 So uh, other than that though, I think it's pretty clear. Mm. It's a ton of this stuff gets made. Mm. It's a very, very popular export tea. And um, yeah, so that was pretty good. Then in the next one, this first paragraph, I gotta say, um, no issue. Mm -hmm. That's a little check mark, guys. Let me put a better stem on it. There we go. <laughs> That's a little check mark. In paragraph two, I was really intrigued by this. Uh, CTC black shredded tea is short for Dadu Gang. Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't quite make Why? sense. Why? It's because CTC is English, right? So in Chinese, CTC this. Mean hong cha, hong sui cha. In Chinese, we, uh, we call this kind of tea hong sui cha, the full name. Mm. You know, there's a translation to the translation thing. If I'm talking to a Chinese about the English term, then okay. translate back to English, then we're like, what are we talking about? Uh, okay. So this means in Chinese, you know, CTC hong sui cha means da du gang CTC hong sui cha. You can oh, only put oh. it in Chinese, so that makes sense. But if so, you, Hong Sui Cha is yeah. short for, or me is yes. means. Yes, uh, in China, this is a Chinese tea. Talk about Chinese CDC, ah. right? And this is a, in Chinese, uh, Hong Sui Cha means this. It's mm. Because the CDC is an English term, translate back to Chinese, got, it. got it, its own term. Then now we're trans that, translate that back to English. Oh, so it oh, has oh. that kind of a... Okay. You know what, gotcha. weirdness is a, what do you mean? So CTC in Chinese is Hong Sui Cha. Ah, yeah. Right? Yes. And then short for actually means uh, is is made or is synonymous with Da Du Gang because it's not made elsewhere. It's got a single point of fabrication. That's the first factory in China that right, developed right. this, got the machine and did this. Okay, so maybe not even, again, it's 10, 12 year old book, maybe not exactly on point okay but that unwinds that because that was very confusing for me but that and was named uh, they developed this name not ctc which is english is this ctc hong sui cha in chinese mm -hmm. they f when they first introduced how to say that in chinese right right how to say ctc in chinese so hong sui cha right right because you know, the whole concept would have been like you show the show a bunch of tea producers what you're doing they'd be like whoa whoa what are you doing <laughs> right you're wrecking it <laughs> right chop that up Anyways, mm -hmm. so Da Du Gang is in Yunnan, Xichuan, Bana. That tea mm -hmm. factory was the first one in China to get a machine and to make this tea. So in Chinese, it means. That. I get it now. I get it. You know, it there's now. a double in the mm -hmm. language thing. That's yeah. I got you. I got you. So um, I wanted to put down some videos to put in links there. 
I don't know why I'm writing mm. things wrong, but also we've got a cool video if you want to see the the uh, Sichuan Bana Airport. I'm strolling through it in one of our videos when we, we didn't go to Dadugang, but we went. No. We landed there, <laughs> so. Um, video. So the uh, and in the final one, all I think I figured out this one. There was what? a part. It's chopped by all fermented, okay? So I think that simply means fully, fully fermented, oxidized. fully oxidized, right? Yeah. So that's what I thought. Um, means it's a chopped up black tea, if you change fully oxidized. Right, right. To a tea type. Yeah, yeah black tea, yeah, mm -hmm. it is chopped. Yes, there we go. Mm -hmm. And um, no multiple infusions, so we don't have to worry about gong fu with this one. It's yeah. too... Generally, yeah, it generally. should not be. Right, right. Okay. Should so, not be. Um, the more the closer is it, it's not a suitable. It's not should not be. I feel like very slightly different. What? Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's a little bit. This is a little bit too hard, right? It's like yeah. full stop. Don't do it. Yeah. Um, um, the Chinese version, I think, it's a little softer. Is yeah, general, it's a generally, generally not. not good for repeatedly yeah. brew. And again, just as a reminder, if you haven't already pulled up the finished translation, a really handy link down below mm. to uh, kind of stay, uh, kind of see how the final version looked out and unwind some of these real time with us. Right. Just want to emphasize that again, the paragraph two isn't talking about CDC black in the world market in the English. It's kind of specific to what happened to CDC tea in China. Right, right. And I was just going to swing back just before we actually let's finish up with these last two sections mm -hmm. and then we'll swing out for comments because mm -hmm. these are usually pretty quick. Appreciation always before drinking, features of appearance, small granular shape, mm -hmm. heavy, well proportioned, reddish brown, deep black, bright. Mm -hmm. Enjoy while drinking. It mm -hmm. has red color, sweet aroma, mm -hmm. and fresh taste. It is cool, thick, and strong. Mm -hmm. All right, so, um, and uh, why did I get into those? Because um, I didn't have many questions about that. I think that was pretty. pretty Give it a big Straight check mark. Oh, a big crazy check mark. So <laughs> let's head out and check out the comments. Mm. So, uh, <coughs> tea quality, just because they said, yeah. Time signature, oh, here we go. Time signature MMA comes out with a wholly interlingual communication. <laughs> right back to the uh, Dadu Gang. Mm. Um, I can't even remember anymore. Yeah, Dadu Gang. Sui, Hong Sui Cha. Sui Cha. Hong Sui Cha. And Cindy says, uh, you red. always crack me up. Yes, me too. I love his... Yes. Uh, his uh, Very short, concise, and right to the point. Right to the point. Is black tea usually... Cindy carries on, though. Is black tea usually the tea that's used in bottled, ready-to-drink teas? Does that contribute to it being such a popular export, as well as tea bag tea? I don't know. i got to be straight up with you, but I bet you're right. Uh, I think a lot of them are using black tea, but I, I'm not an authority on that. Seems like a cool idea, a cool possibility. Mm. There's plenty. I'm of just uh, trying to mm. understand bottles, ready to drink tea, mm. like those huge market, ready to drink tea. Or like a canned tea, yeah. iced tea, oh, canned yeah, tea, yeah. bottle yeah. tea, right? Yeah. All those, right, uh, right. all those. I can't even remember any of the brands anymore. But like yeah. Nesty has tons of it, Absolutely. so they're very much black tea based in general. Now they've got lots more stuff coming out with green teas and stuff, and I don't know. I've never seen oolong, but because of the health craze, but right? They started. The initial was because of the black tea was the first exported. Because of yes. those ready to drink tea are pretty new. Yeah, Very new and recent yeah. stuff. Yeah. But they export the the um, probably mm -hmm. CTC and then yeah. brew it up locally. And CTC in is invented in India, right? So mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. was for for quicker brew mm -hmm. and more intense, and mm -hmm. for you know. No, okay. Increased yeah. margins, mm -hmm. I suspect as well, to be blunt. <laughs> okay, so, and then she comes back to the, uh, back to Keeman. By the way, back to Keeman, I had in my notes that it was better when I used three grams in my 120 mil teapot than when I used five. Yeah. The three is suggested on your packaging. I should have paid mm -hmm. attention. Yeah, hey, it's all good. That's how you learn. I yeah. think it's really good to play with. I think the best thing is to... Play learn with. that yourself yes. so that next time yeah. you will realize hey maybe when I see this kind of tiny little leaves I will use the letter le less right right and the opposite could have happened you might have used five and said oh when I use three 
I actually like that a little more bold. So then you can you've dialed yes. it in for your own flavor yeah. and your own taste. Yeah, we always tell people don't follow our <laughs> instruction. Like maybe if starting you really point. don't know, it's a starting, starting point, point, but right? never just to stick yeah. to it. And play with it, just like you're doing with the cups too. You might find, oh, this is really good in a silver cup. Maybe it gets something mm. you really love, and that'll be your yeah, vessel of choice. Yeah, I think that's toys. the fun thing about, you know tea tastes or totally even in agree. general like a food kind first of. this whole experience like how it transforms the water is the beginning of the fun and mm. then how much flexibility there is to play with it mm. or if you just want something quick and guaranteed good also right kind of swings both ways yeah i just want to quickly uh share with you guys my personal uh you know some opinion about uh, uh, either CDC or tea bag teas because and of course you are totally fine if you disagree with me or anything it's all fine I hope it's an open place where you can also discuss that and stuff mm -hmm. but I do feel like these are teas who get so much bad names they get a bad rap they get really bad names and not for nothing but a lot of times uh, I mentioned earlier that uh, I suggest people to try uh, different brewing methods uh, or stuff with even those teas we hate like a uh, red rose uh, not red rose what is that that is an old tea bag a uh, red rose yes like i don't know i don't know if it's very popular though like tetley would be a better tetley. one Ooh, a tetley and i love the twiggy twigging twi twinings twinings they have earl mm -hmm. gray one of the best mm -hmm. earl gray mm -hmm. in my opinion i a lot of times i don't like those nude you know, loose leaf Earl Grey stuff. Mm. Those recipes, it's not a good stuff, good stuff mashed together. That's a new recipe right. and worse producing. Right. They are not as well thought after. They put a dash of cinnamon and the price is 20 times higher. I don't see the point. <laughs> so Wreck the flavor charge 20 years. Yes, I think that they are classic. They have a nice mm. balance. When they are made, you drink that by yourself or you make with tea or stuff. There is there is something really valuable that they put in pro product uh, uh, development rather than selling the concept of just uh, uh, putting some trendy stuff in it and a lot of times we didn't we don't give them a turmeric <laughs> another one we don't give them the fair chance because uh well, the quality of the tea, right? It doesn't lie in the forming comes from. Is that in a tea bag or is that a loose leaf? Loose leaf is good tea? No. In my opinion, mm. there's a lot of a high price loose tea that doesn't produce as good as tea bags because mm. their tea is badly made. Mm -hmm. They just take the trend of loose leaves. Right. right? It's and like you said, in China, there's no such thing as tea bag. There is really crappy tea, which is loose, and there's a really amazing tea, which is also loose. There's yeah. no straight line from loose There's to good no quality. straight line. No. And what and happens is people available. say, you're not brewing that right. You got to lower the temperature. You got to do this, do that. How much do we right. do this with for the loose tea bags? Leaf. You're talking about with the yes, loose, right. loose leaf. And right? you bend over backwards to try and get it right with the loose leaf. Yes. Right. And uh, you were like, oh, I didn't do that right. I got to brew this. And then I try harder. But at the same time, I think we should give tea bag a, chi mm. a chance and maybe uh, try harder by you know lower the water temperature put less leaves mm. uh quicker steeping time all those methods that we use for loosely fancy teas we can also apply to tea bag and um i oftentimes when i go on the road if i didn't bring enough tea Rarely i order happens. team <laughs> yeah i like to overpack for tea but i would order like a tim hortons or uh I, for that reason, I don't order Starbucks because their quote unquote high end or tea is yeah, not again, as good. Super I expensive think. compared to Tim's. And More uh, expensive, in my opinion, less quality. Mm -hmm. It's just a concept. Anyways, I would do 50 50 cold water, hot water, lower the water temperature, steep those. Earl Grey is my love, and you take that out. And Sorry, start at the beginning. You put in the hot water. First. So, yes. Oh, no, no, no. Just run them through my, it. It's a really, it's my a genius order is <laughs> it, it has an order. That's why I'm... My order it. is pretty specific Bare, for yeah. uh, the, the guy to make that for me. Is I want a, a cold water first because they always put tea bag and they put hot water. Boiling right? water. Mm. The boiling water. So I want them to put tea bag, put in the uh, uh, cold water, tap water, 50-ish, and 50% 50 of the whole cup. Then fill in with the hot water. 
Mm -hmm. then aka lower the water temperature before the tea hits it yes if Mm. you do hot water first it already comes because it extracts right away yeah it's a cut it comes out already right so you want to pause that a little bit Mm -hmm. and slow uh, it down yes and uh, lower the impact of the boiling water and it tastes fine it tastes Mm -hmm. it's definitely not something that we brew up in Kung Fu style really fancy teas but it's not as bad yeah it really not uh, is not as bad I think there's two takeaways for me that so first I was super amazed when I saw her brew that and get a pretty she's like taste that I'm like that's pretty good first is um if you're gonna give your loose leaf tea a chance give your tea bag tea a chance too mm-hmm. right like don't if like ease of brewing like the the disadvantage we have being into great tea is it's easy to brew like you like it's gonna be okay it's not bitter it's not astringent Mm -hmm. it's actually trickier to get a good sip from Mm -hmm. these lower grade teas Mm -hmm. so that's the second takeaway is um if you want to hone your skills try some bad teas and try to make them taste as good as you can Mm. um that's pretty tricky and it's a good test or skill training for how to brew tea Mm. i might enter a brewing competition you know in those brewing competitions they always bring super fancy teas i'm gonna bring a tea bag and say I'm brewing today for you a tea bag, and I'm doing that because brewing to brew to show brew skill, which is what you're assessing. I want a challenge, not something that cannot be broken, you know, indestructible. Like we've thrown, you know, our green tea. It would tea. still be the bottom though. Nowadays, there's a so strong stigma that you cannot. Open. Oh, I would do it just to expose that. <laughs> just to expose it. I'm a badass. <laughs> All right, guys, where are we at? Let's check out the comments. Um, I agree, mm. uh, JS, the recipe. Oh boy, look at Ooh, all these comments. The recipe is probably up. Holy, uh, Cindy says, I do love experimenting with my tea. I feel like a mad scientist and time signature MMA says, holy questionable scientific method, Batman. <laughs> I had to throw the Batman on the end to make that punctuated. From now on, whenever he does something with the exclamation, I'm gonna change the exclamation to Batman. <laughs> Cindy rolls over laughing. Fernanda says, yes, we all love to experiment. There are some tasty tea bags out there, says time signature. Oh, and Fernanda put the yeah, recipe, recipe on on, on um, Discord already. So mm. if you're not on Discord, jump over there for the recipe. Josh says, "Yeah, I agree. Twinings Earl Grey has its place, even for me. Though I, though the only time I ever use tea bags seems is when I want decaf tea at night time. Mm. Because if I had calf, I would never get to sleep. Mm. Mm. Totally fair. Yeah, I like to use tea bags. Hey, I wonder, Josh, how does shukuar affect you? Because for me, I was okay when I was caffeine sensitive, but my brother-in-law was like, what? He couldn't believe it because he drinks shupuar to get all revved up. So then mm. Josh says, nothing wrong with the occasional pot of decaf milk tea on a cold winter's night. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we love, what's that Hong Kong one? They do a coffee tea coffee blend. Coffee and tea, yeah, yeah. Super yeah. good, super yummy, the way they do it. It's all about how you blend it and you're like, just like you were talking about those crazy new Earl Greys, you know, just because it's different doesn't mean it's an improvement and just because it's weird like coffee tea and milk those are pretty good if they do the blend <laughs> right and then get the sweetness level right yeah i also like making london fog lattes with real steamed milk and lavender i bought in niagara Ooh. from the farm oh we gotta oh, go that's back nice. we gotta go back get that's some nice. real lavender Wait, we grow lavender. Well, I was going to say, we grow lavender. What <laughs> we, are you talking we about? We have our own lavender. <laughs> I going. have so much lavender. I couldn't... I, I, uh, <laughs> we can't I remembered. Cindy says, interesting teabag method. Don't think it will get me past my PTTD. No, we don't recommend this for you, Cindy. You're still no. in recovery. <laughs> okay, maybe in a couple of years we can come back to this. But uh, let's just let that wear out first. Mm. But if I'm at a restaurant with no other option, worth a try. Mm, yeah. yeah, that's what I do too. It's not like I would like die for that right but, uh, right if i have no option and the issue th- is though none of them has good quote unquote tea flavor mm. that's that depth we were talking about with this tea that something special the tea has and you're right they're more empty typically mm. they struggle to have that fullness mm. um and that's got to be you've got to look at the price and say okay it's okay that's another thing why right. i'm okay is the price right. like a as tea vendor and personally my character I like value price you yes. know I can pay big price value but it has flavor, to yes. match it that's right right or I otherwise I'm just paying the thing I just cannot uh, pay for some loose leaf tea that's barely that's just as empty right? an, or I see a lot of loose leaf tea especially a black tea that's uh, more than that like 
Mm. I don't think the quality is as good as the tea bag at all. Right, right. I was going to mention that earlier. We were talking about kind of our Keeman and vis-a-vis -vis our shop, and it's affordable, but it's a top grade Keeman. We dropped the top grade, and in talking about that, that's we're kind of back at that sort of crux where the difference, mm. the difference between us and a lot of tea vendors, if I can say, is. We're not looking for tea that a bunch of people are going to go crazy about. You may think we're crazy because that's, a, that's called good business. <laughs> <laughs> but our mission is to bring you guys real tasting grade Chinese tea. That's what this is. It's, it's I think, $8 for 25 grams. Mm. It's a great value. This is a fantastic value tea. Um, you won't find Keeman so delicious. Just ask Cindy. <laughs> Um, so that's the difference between us is we're not trying to well, little story not, but a lot of them No, I just want to finish okay, because yeah, a lot absolutely. of the places you'll go they're looking for that Oh, what this has a weird like it's off-the-shelf bad tea in China It doesn't fit anywhere and it'll end up on a shelf here because it's got something tasty It's got a flavor note that's that's that can be clung on to mm. But it's empty if you taste for the tea flavor. I love that Josh just calls it. It doesn't have what did he say exactly? I love that it doesn't have the tea flavor, I think he said, and in quotes. Mm. But to me, that captures it's. It need, all tea needs to have that tea, that depth, that that thing that makes tea different from flavored water. Mm. I just want to share a little story that I never share publicly. <laughs> oh boy, even to me. Okay, uh, go you ahead. You might not remember I'll that. You know. so when we <laughs> when I buy memory. tea for Jin Tea, because it's our major market is more to the west. I don't. I, uh, some vendor because of mm. how close we are they just know it mm -hmm. but some vendor I don't even mention that I don't want them because of the v vendors uh, uh, sorry not vendor producer, the producer throws them right they're off. so we're s like friends and stuff are so close especially to my mom has been in friends with them for uh, decades they all convinced me hey the tea you are buying won't sell in the West mm. so I kind of try to avoid hearing that over and over I know it mm. <laughs> okay I know it because they all have uh, Western sources yeah they, like uh, they, the Western, Western clients buyers. yeah buyers mm. and stuff they they know what Western people love yeah. and uh, they just uh, trying to talk me out of things where buying which is right, right. higher price and less market he was like I have so many Western you know buyers none of them will get it you buy this cheaper much uh, stronger in flavor they're good. They're, they love it they're looking out for us right so when yes. you meet new producers we just don't even tell I them just don't mention, we don't mention that we yes. that we're a Western tea shop or else yeah. all of that otherwise all of that they think out. I'm insane yeah or they won't show us the good one like even worse right yeah so they anyway us, like we're doing that for you guys okay <laughs> so um, uh, let's just check it out mm. agreed uh, so where are we going so for shoe definitely keeps me oh but to be honest I, over, I got it behind we're yeah. behind I we're think right at the top here. yeah that would be a cool challenge let me just scroll up a bit guys Tea. oh there we go we're good so then we covered that Josh comment and JS says that would be a cool challenge what the issue is none of them have that tea flavor that, that at least has any strength, so I end up using three bags minimum, usually even four for a pot, you're right. That would be a cool challenge. What's the challenge? I'm not sure what JS is saying there. Oh, the brewing challenge maybe you mentioned? Oh. Probably. But what be, was that possible? I don't know what brewing challenge you're talking about. You were mentioning that you want to enter a brewing challenge just to do the tea. Oh bag. right, right, and do like in one of those fancy, you know, those <laughs> those international, and maybe get sent abroad and brew we're a right. brew a Lipton tea bag. That would be epic. Um, but to be honest, forbid you try to drink that stuff without milk. It doesn't really, let's say, approach the palate gently. Yeah, exactly. Mm. But try her trick, okay? I'm telling you, you'd be uh, you'd be shocked. <laughs> so for me, Shu definitely keeps me up as well. Oh. And I love drinking it when I'm up with friends, just chatting into the late hours. Mm. And to be honest, miss it. Right, yeah, right? Mm. Everybody misses seeing their friends face to face. But if I need to sleep, it's a no-go, right? So I've been, I've kind of beat my caffeine sensitivity into the ground by drinking copious quantities of tea. I'm not saying it's for everybody, but I seem to be able to be more flexible now. 
If you guys like lavender, you should really look into different varieties. Uh -huh. I would say they're even as different in their flavor and aromas as different tea plants. Oh, very oh, cool. So I'm we did a bit of research. Remember last more. year I looked that up, French yeah. and English and all that? English, we think we got like, the English. We think so. I like glorious sturdy. lavender, especially. Uh -huh. mm, seems glorious. Mm. We're thinking, because I heard that the lavender, after certain years, you just have to change up the crop. Oh. That's why we're looking. Okay. So Fernanda says, I miss mine with chamomile and agreed mm. with Josh. And, um, veggie, and milk. veggie milk. Oh, veggie milk. What's veggie milk? Maybe like soy milk. We love making soy milk, but I've never tried that in tea. Cindy says, I have lavender and mint growing right outside my door, so my habit is to toss some into my water bottle when I leave the house. Oh, that's Aww. genius. That is awesome. I'm so Just grab a handful, of throw the, uh, it in. Climate. <laughs> right. That's what I was like. Yeah. Everything is dead right. here right now. <laughs> yeah, if you saw the snowy picture, we had a fresh little snowfall, so that's where that beautiful snowy tree branch came from this, this morning on uh, Discord. I gotta say, glorious lavender for me is so delicate and delicious and has none of the soapy, bitter harshness of the other varieties, so that's why it's my favorite. Ah, soapy. I know what you're talking I know about. Soapy. Yeah, that soapiness mm. is for sure. Yeah. Um, yep, this kimon is delicious. Ah, concur. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. And though, French though French lavender is my absolute favorite for aroma you only use, like mm. um, muslin bag. Yeah. Mm. Do we think we have English or French? English, I right? I thought we didn't say English. I think you're right. Uh, my lavender goes into my herbal salt also. Oh, interesting. Oh. Yeah, awesome. I also like it in Herbe de Provence. Mm. I think it's an official ingredient of Herbe de Provence. It's really not lav not Herbe de Provence without uh, lavender. Mm. I am brew with tea bags at a brewing challenge. Yes, you were right. That was I the challenge. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Okay, next time there's a real tea tea brewing challenge, I'm entering. <laughs> I was at a Chinese restaurant, wanted to order spring noodles. They told me I would not like it. Uh, only Chinese people like it. I had to talk them into letting me order it. It was yummy. Oh boy, <laughs> I know that experience. I totally know that. I've had. I've been with her and ordered before, and the and the server look over at her and she give them a nod, and then they allow me to order that, but they double check. Alex says, "Looking handsome in the scarf." Yes, thank you. And same with Jen in the flannel jacket. That's <laughs> what Alex you. says. Yeah, so we're bundled up in here. It's a bit chilly in the room. Mm. More, there seems to be common core depth tea flavor that every tea must have. Yes. So Josh is saying. Uh, about the tea flavor there it's that thing in tea that's really when we say empty tea that's what's missing it's the it's the tea the base that they all have they all share they need to be able to integrate in and and link with the water not just sit in the water or blend it up hey cookie 8506 hello hello alex is drinking a benchang oolong Oh man, Kimen is delicious. Gotta get some of that ASAP. Perfect for winter. Yeah, you oh, bet. Yeah. Check out the website. Really the link nice is program. down below. We were just talking about a great one. Cindy's uh, giving it plenty of props. She's drinking along with us. Mm. It's milk Vigil that's milk. not from cows. Yeah, that's what so I thought. So anyone would like an old Ooh, milk? she does cashews milk. Cashew Ooh, milk. Cashew that would be milk. fun. Okay. And maybe share some recipes for that. We do, um, we make all kinds of stuff. Uh, soy milk in our soy milk maker, but we do um, oat milk. We've done we never did oat milk, but we make we No, put, I like to eat that. We put oats I, and cows. I milk. love the texture of mm. of uh, oats by itself. I don't want to blend that too smooth. So I joined a little late, but have you talked about semen hao ya versus mao feng? I'm gonna go with no. No. Do you know what he's talking about? I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> and then he was more talking about the kimen. We, uh, we talk about the difference between this one, traditional kimen, and the kimen on our website. There's uh, right. many new kimen, like the uh, uh, kimen right. uh, haoya means they use a little bit more buds, which those right. are more like a newer so on, style. On our website, that would be just kimen. Yes. It's sort of the modern trend. Right. And right. trad kimen, what we're drinking yes. today. And the good question is because though it in general has that sense with individually which kimen is which or what it really means, always check with your vendor of mm. what that means. Everybody could have their own right. interpretation. Like t shirt right. is pretty in general, but it doesn't mean they all look the same mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So check 
with your vendor is the most secure, like the best way right, to know right. exactly about this specific tea. Right on.、Mm. All right, guys, that is wraps up our Sunday tea book episode twenty eight. We're not doing lap sam sutra. Oh my gosh! <laughs> of course, we're doing lap sam sutra. We got to get back to it, folks. <laughs> We gotta speed up, okay? All right, well, yeah, we gotta speed up. I was thinking we were done. I'm like kind of talking. I gotta, oh boy. No wonder I was like,、mm, yeah, yeah, I got something I... is fishy here. Oh yo, <laughs> okay, guys, sorry, we got one more tea to do, and it's a great one too. Could generate lots of conversation. Jen Shang Xiao Zhong, all right. Jen Shang Xiao Xiao Zhong is also called Xin Tun Xiao Zhong. Jen Shan means. <sighs> I'm so cute. Let me move my.、Uh, let me move us, down here. Okay, so we're out of the way. There we go. Jen Shan means the real production of high mountains. All the tea produced in Wei Mountains are called Jen Shan. There are clone ones in the neighborhood town, such as Fuan, Zhenghe, etc. But the quality is worse, which is called Wei Shan Xiao Zhong or、uh, artificial Xiao Zhong or Yan Xiao Zhong. And that's a short little section right there.、Mm. But it's packed with information. Really packed. And in the English, it's packed with a little bit of confusion. Confusing, right?、Yeah. First, I didn't know this. Xingchun. Xingchun. Xingchun.、Mm. Yes. So, Zhengshan <laughs> Xiao <laughs> Zhong. First, a lot of、uh, questions about the name. What's the difference between Zhengshan、right. Xiao Zhong vis-a-vis Lapsan Su Chong?、Uh, so, in general, when I talk about this paragraph, I will probably be off the book a little bit. Right. Just to answer a lot of、uh, popular questions, Zhengshan Xiao Zhong is Lapsan Su Zhong. There's、mm. no difference in that. Zhengshan Xiao Zhong is the pinyin stuff. Lapsan Su Zhong is the old, like Kimen is the old, the old times. The, the, the yes, the West、mm-hmm. spell exactly like Kimen and Kimen. Yes,、mm. spell、uh, what they hear locally in、mm-hmm. that area. So that、mm-hmm. has the English.、Uh, pre- Kind of a pronunciation in it, plus a little bit maybe the local dialect. Right. That's why it's different, but they refer to the same tea,、uh, theoretically. Right. Why? I think what you're saying is there shouldn't be some implication that there is a, there is a fundamental difference, and maybe you don't understand things well if you don't think there is.、Mm. <laughs> right. Yes. And Zhengshan,、uh, what Zhengshan means means the authentic mountain. Mm-hmm. That's how they spell. Say,、uh, if talking about the Wu Dong Dan Chong, right? Dan Chong. What's the Zhengshan of Wu Dong? Dan Wu Dong, right? Even though you would say. Jump in with that. I should have let them try. Great job. Now you're awake. And so, even though we know as a Feng Huang Dan Chong, so if you、uh, mm. and this is just the turn to this one to this tea, but in general the meaning is there. Means the authentic Xiao Zhong. Xin、mm. Tun Xiao Zhong, as pointed out here, which is highlighted here、yeah. already on the first line. Yeah, Xin Tun is where the the core area is、uh, of this Lap San Su Zhong come from. Xin、mm. Tun is the location in Wei, and it's were record first recorded in books. Xin Tun they produce this kind of tea. Okay, so that's why it's also known as Xin Tun Xiao Zhong, and、um, the, I think the. Paragraph said that that's why they are called as Zhengshan Xiao Zhong. They are from that Wei Mountain area.、Right. As long as it's from there, it's also、uh, called Zhengshan Xiao Zhong.、Mm. That、uh, at old times Wei. Now we call that Wei.、Uh, Wei right. Old times is called Chongwan. It's the old name of that area. Right. Then here is a nearby like a neighborhood area called Fuan F U apostrophe and. Right.、A-N. Yeah.、It's、if you've got the、uh, Finnish translation available in the link down below, you'll see that we fixed that. Yeah, and Zhenghe, those are also close by areas, and they try to mimic the Zhengshan、mm, Xiao Zhong.、Mm. And、uh, because of the location and the way they're doing that stuff, and making that、uh, slightly lower grade compared to right Zhengshan Xiao Zhong, Lap San Su Chong, but that's. Like the starting point of this, this kind of a background story set up to the different names. Why there are different names,、right. but now you cannot say, oh, because it's from Zhenghe. Zhenghe doesn't make good black tea,、uh, or Zhenghe、right. tea is、uh, worse than Lasan Su Zhong. That's not right. Right, which、but、is sort of. But this is just a background setup. 
Right. Then those outside, those uh, mimic were intimate, in imitate, imitate mm-hmm. style black tea from those Fuan or Zhenghe or other areas were called as a Wai Shan Xiaozhong. Outside the mountain Xiaozhong. Ah, uh, Wai Shan. Yeah, and because they're mimicking. Outside the mountain. Yes, or imitating. They also have the smoking process, but because they cannot do that as high quality, it comes up with like the result was pretty like smoky, not pleasant. Mm. So that's why it also has the name by artificial xiaozhong. Again, check the full uh, translation. It's ren gong xiaozhong, means artificial xiaozhong. But it means oh. it mean, and also yan xiaozhong. Yan means smoked xiaozhong. So that's another popular question. People are talking about yan xiaozhong means the smoked lapsang suzhong, or um, there's a non-smoke lasam suzhong. Yes, there's a smoke and non-smoke. I think Nowadays, someone had one recently. Yes, yeah. which is a recent, ter- recent right. term. Right. But if you traditionally, traditionally, no. In terms of a tea knowledge, if you hear yan xiaozhong, it's supposed to mean the, the lapsam suzhong from outside. Right. It doesn't not mean, zhenshan. yeah, it doesn't implicate mm. it that smoke or not. But in China, it's the industry is the tea industry has really low like entering point right so we see those that there are people who just say, oh this is a smoke xiaozhong it must mean this la san suzhong is smoked no it only means it come from outside right it doesn't mean smoke or not it's just all smoke la san suzhong were confused old. yet am i i'm trying to no you're made, no no it's just it's a chaotic environment i yes. think it's just the nature of that that it's the, the term yan literally means smoked xiaozhong Yes. But be, it does. It has come to not mean it's smoked necessarily. It just means it's not from Zhenchang. Yes. It's, uh, which it's from outside of that area, and it may be an unsmoked. Yeah. Be, which is also new. Right, and that's textbook. And nowadays, mm. in the market, because there are so many different chaotic, so many say, variants, and lots yeah. of people could look at this. Even Chinese people look at that and say, "Oh, smoked xiaozhong." That's what the, this word means. So they start to use the smoked xiaozhong. Uh, as if uh, it means a smoke, right? You know what I mean. Right. It's not uh, quite like that. However, if ninety nine percent of the market is using that, you can also understand that yan xiaozhou right. could be mean that. Yeah. Right. And not to mention there are new style of uh, lapsang suzhong which is not smoked, which mm-hmm. even mm-hmm. more getting that uh, yan xiaozhou meaning smoked. Kind of thing right. like pushing that wrong right. notion to the wrong side. What was the funny thing we heard? I think was that Zhenshang Xiaozhong is not unsmoked or something. Yeah, like which that. is wrong. That's just wrong. Yeah. Xiaozhong is the always smoked. That's how they dry it. So you could say about Zhenshan Xiaozhong if somebody said, "Oh, that means it's from the authentic mountain." That mm-hmm. would be correct. And if they confirm that, it's mm-hmm. better to check though, because you might have somebody call that yes. Zhenshan, and it's not necessarily from there. So always, as always, right? Yes, always check with your vendor of a. If you want to know more, because uh, oftentimes people ask me, what does this mean? I can tell you what on textbook, what is supposed to mean, but mm. it doesn't mean that's what you get. And I can tell you what's on my website mean. So always check with your uh, vendor. Yeah, with the vendor. That's mm. the best way. So complicated. I don't know if I... No, I think if there's any questions, guys, as always, just blurt mm. them out into the chat. That mm. was a lot. And it is one of those, because I think it's been an export tea for so long, mm-hmm. it's got lots of chaos and tumult, tumult around it. Like it's just zigzag, mm. right? So let's just go back to the comments for a bit. Okay. Um, we'll come up here. And I joined a little late, right? Thank you for clarifying that. I will look on your website and mm-hmm. my old tea vendor for more info. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. And Fernanda says that that cashew milk is the best milk ever. Ooh. I believe her. Cashew, there's nothing can go wrong with a cashew. Yeah, yeah. And Josh, it seemed like Josh is laughing at me saying that I'm ready for a post tea nap, which is <laughs> right. fair, which is fair. I forgot a whole section, okay? <laughs> Reiner says, a few weeks ago, I had an unsmoked wild lap song. Mm. Really great. Mm. Yes. They are neat. We had yes. one a couple of years ago and yes. really lets the underlying tea of lap song really shine. Absolutely. And Josh says, so if Zhenshang means original mountain, then what does Chuangtong mean, as in Chuangtong Taiguanyin? Because I've heard Chuangtong used to refer to traditional slash original style Taiguanyin, but not sure literally. Chuangtong mean. means traditional. 
literally means、uh, traditional. But if somebody,、uh, I mean, if somebody says a traditional, uh, 正山小种 like, and or traditional 正山小种 it means it should, it should, should be smoked. It's smoked. Yeah. Yes. Just like our our, I didn't know that traditional Taiwanese is strip, not rolled, right? That's the old style of making Taiwanese. Or like our traditional Timen is、uh, also、that's、not、hard. not full of buds and not super fuzzy because that's a modern trend. This is done in the traditional way. Okay, so it means traditional. Yeah, so it's complicated. Oh wait, I missed Cindy. I cannot miss Cindy. The first lap song I tried was so heavily smoked. I was kind of turned off by it. Yeah,、mm. also not helped by your PTDD, right? Yes. So、and、that's that's actually a very good point. A lot of people because、mm. it's a lap song, it's really, and a lot of on the market that says a lap song suzhong or zhengshan xiaozhong, they are supposed to be yan xiaozhong, not say smoke, but they're not from the good. Mm. Uh, area and not made properly.、Uh, I never, I've never know what people meant about how awful Lapsan Suzhong was right, until once、tire. I was in. Yeah, I was in a tea shop and they were like, "Oh, this is Lapsan Suzhong," and they take the big jar, you know how, and open it. I smell that right away. It's not. It's chemical. It smells awful. Right. Right. So if that's what people were thinking, then I was like, "Oh, I get why people hate Lapsan Suzhong." Right. Real lap song suzhong. Okay, their smoke is. They did that for hundreds of years.、Mm. Their smoke is beautiful. If、mm. you don't hate, it's a compliment. Yes, it's a compliment. It's not, and that's why the outside the bad ones were called yan xiaozhong. Yan give smoke, even though it's the same in English, but in Chinese, yan xiaozhong has that kind, not good cigarette. Like yan is not a compliment to a tea. Right. You know, it has that.、Uh, Failed smoke. It could be almost a smell like、uh, the wet wood, smoked like、mm. unpleasant. That kind、right. or smother the the fire, but it becomes、oh, smoke. Right, that right. kind of unpleasant. I see what you mean by wet wood. Yes, like a it's, it's a fire that's struggling. It cannot make fire, so it makes smoke. Yes, yes. A lot of the Zhengshan Xiaozhong on the market are just smoked black tea, poorly smoked black tea, and I recommend you. If possible, try our、uh, yes. Lapsan Suzhong.、Oh, you、boy. smell it; it's smoked, but it's never like burnt tire. Those、oh, yeah. kind of it's not something. At tea festivals, we convert people with the ones、yes. we can convince to try it who aren't so scared. Try it, and they're like. And you can smell the sm-、uh, sweetness, you, like a、right. black tea sweetness. What's the Zhengshan Xiaozhong fe-、uh, the feature?、Uh, Ma Wei Song is、uh, their special pine, pine、mm-hmm. smoke. Very lovely. Like、uh, if you think about pine,、mm. you know it's a pleasant smell.、Yeah. And、uh, longanberry,、mm-hmm. dried longanberry, guiyuan, the sweetness is and really balanced. Nice、again. balance, yeah. Yeah, and made by the 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 gent who makes that, as we said, I think on one of、right. our holiday specials, is the fa- descendant of the family who invented lapsam suzhong. So,、mm. uh, like she said, hundreds of years of perfecting that process. So Josh says it's so complicated. Haha. <laughs> Perhaps you might want to put all all the variations into an Excel type chart or something. Kind of hard to figure out just by listening, or at least for me. Yeah. Yeah. It was I know. I was like, even when I'm trying to explain. He said you did like, a great job, though. Okay. Um, it's just complicated. Yeah. Cindy says I drank your classic Taiwanian with the beta testers yesterday、mm. when they were playing Guess the Tea by looking at the leaves and told them, told them and, and fooled them. them all because it doesn't look like.、Uh, Of what is expected when we brought that onto the market back twenty fourteen twenty fifteen because it's her favorite tea it was right away on our shelf. People who were quote unquote tea, not to be mean to them but it is tricky. They were thinking we mixed up. Well, even even in China, that's just to tell you. Even、mm. in China,、mm. people think that was rock tea. Yes. And those were not like a t- regular tea drinkers, like tea producers, tea vendors. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. So、uh, just as to say, like a tea has a really low entering point、right. to be in the industry. It's not right, like a、right. wine in the West. Right. I think you might be wrong about that, but I don't know much、uh, about the wine、oh, industry okay. too. Oh okay. I、right? just I heard those certificate about the wine is super hard to get and stuff. I was like, whoa, cool. Yeah. So um right. So then Cindy says that she, you need to try the lap song. Yes, you uh you would love it. I am pretty like, it would uh fix your other encounter with lap song, guaranteed.、Mm. 
yeah same for me the first is put me off so drank none for three years oh. uh, or until a friend uh, said like they really like it so I bought some and again a good one this time and it was it wasn't just smoke it was mm. very delicious does Jin Chung have anything to do with Jin uh, Jin Yan that's a very good question Oh, it probably one, smells Kong. really, uh, spells really similar. Zhen Shan Zhen. Again, this word means this is authentic. True? Yeah, yeah, true or stuff. Shan means mountain. So it means that area. Zhen Yan. Yan means rock. So rock tea, Yan Cha. So what it means, Zhen Yan, it means it's more in the region, in the Wei region. Ah. They have Zhen Yan, Ban Yan, okay. Wai Shan. Right, a little confusing for Westerners who only have the pinion access. It's not yes. true smoke. Mm. It's true. It's a true wooey thing. Okay, yeah. good one. Uh, probably, I think you were talking about. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, rock we, tea, zhen yan. Yeah, but tricky without the symbol, not, right? Just, then, yeah. All right. I think now. Oh, I went to, <laughs> I went to the book by accident. Oops. You see again. I went to the book. Silly me. <laughs> All right, we're, guys, we're now, much. <laughs> now I'm ready for my nap. I'm ready for my post-tea nap. I hope this was a, a great episode. We're getting uh, next week. We're coming back. Oh, I will go back to the book okay. with sound effects. Next week, we're going to be covering uh, Dian Hong Gong Fu. Uh -huh. All right, and a few other teas. Oh, I'll show them all. Show them all. Zheng He Gong Fu. Yeah. And finally, Tan Yang Gong Fu. Yeah. And that will, guys, wrap up that will wrap up our uh, excursion into black tea land. And yes. from there, we're headed to scented and blended after, I think, right? No, we didn't. Yellow tea. Yellow tea. Yay, yeah. yellow tea. Yes. Such a great category. Mm -hmm. um, and we're getting really close. Like you mentioned, eight more episodes-ish. Yes. Um, we're getting close. We're having a blast with you guys. Thank you for joining. Thank you for all the help. Coming up next it's really week. really fun talking to you a, guys. Yes, coming up next for week sure. is our next installment. Of black tea. Of black tea. I am going to do a talk later this month. Stay tuned for when uh, when I come up with a date for that. But there's mm -hmm. going to be a January talk about what did I say I was going to talk about. I don't know. A really good one. Um, <laughs> Nobody remembers, but it's a really good. No, no, one. no. It's really good. Oh, I'm okay. going to remember it. Um, I was going to talk about um, maybe Ping Hu or something. Anyway, I'll let you guys know what it was. <laughs> I think I was going to talk about. Um, oh, I can't remember. Darn! I should have wrote it down. <laughs> anyway, I have a really good idea for. Um, a live session that I'm going to do later this <laughs> month. So stay tuned. I'm going to remember. And I'm, if you guys, I need my nap really badly. <laughs> and if you guys have any suggestions for our future vi uh, future videos, what you want to see, yeah. or if you want us to Sunday do more Sunday tea book. Live, we're getting close. Maybe yes. some documents you want us to or look at. Stuff uh, you can comment or uh, direct message us on or email or Instagram, Instagram, Facebook. Go to our website. We've got an email, a little thing you can chat with us there. We've got Discord. I mean, we're almost impossible not to reach. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, just feel free to leave the comment and the questions about tea or yeah. The section and we King just Kong, don't worry about being late. You can always check the uh, check out the video. It'll be up uh, in a in a little while. And mm -hmm. uh, I, well, let's tell them. Sometimes they disappear for a little bit because we gotta just uh, work them, but we put them back up. So don't yes. panic. If because we think it's a pretty cool series, and more tea lovers should see that. Mm -hmm. And obviously, YouTube doesn't doesn't put live videos on top. That's why we try to take it down and upload. Upload seem to show up better on yep. search. So. Yeah. And yes. then uh, Josh says, "May I suggest for another tea book, Excapade, the classic of tea?" Mm, hmm. You mean Baluyu? That's what he means. Mm. I mean, once you run out of Jen's mom book. Yeah, about eight episodes. We're super excited. Hmm. We might do some live uh, so that everybody can talk about what Ooh. they want to see. An intermission live to talk about the, the... What do you guys want us to do and what we want to do. So And they should have to do trivia to get their consideration on the table. <laughs> They should have to succeed in trivia. What do you guys think about that? We'll have a trivia challenge where you, the more right answers you get, the more weight your vote gets. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just throwing stuff out there. All right. Anyway, guys, that wraps it up for this week. Thanks again for joining us. Please click the uh, subscribe button. Click the notify bell. Uh, anything else they need to click? I feel like there's one more thing they need to thumbs click. Thumbs up. Click the thumbs up. I knew there was one more thing to click. <laughs> it all helps the channel out a lot, helps us keep bringing you uh, the authentic taste of Chinese tea. We love this. This has been so fun. I cannot wait to uh, for next week. Yeah. Until next time, guys.
Keep oh, steep. stay tuned for the outro music. Keep oh. steeping. Keep steeping. <laughs>